welcome friends this is dr prashant patel in college of engineering belagavi please subscribe my channel press the bell icon so that you get notifications like the video comment and share i am going to video. solve the one best example on how to fit a regression lines for the ages of husband and ages of wife here the following data gives the ages of husband as x and the ages of wife as y in years for the form the two regression lines and calculate the ages of husband corresponding to 16 years age of wife okay first of all to fit a regression lines okay what are the things required let me write first okay let me give the formula first so that we can understand what are the things we require regression lines y on x is given by y minus y bar equal to bx into x minus x bar similarly regression line regression line x on y is given by x minus x bar equal to bxy into y minus y bar where byx is equal to byx is the thing but r into sigma y divided by sigma x and bxy is nothing but r into sigma x divided by sigma y and what about r and sigma r is given by r that is correlation coefficient r is given by summation of capital xy divided by square root of summation x square summation of x square into summation of y square is given by r <coughs> where capital x is nothing but x minus x bar and y capital y is nothing but y minus y bar this is my capital y okay and now one more thing i want sigma x sigma x square is given by summation x square divided by n sigma y square is given by summation capital y square divided by n and whereas this x bar and y bar x bar is nothing but summation x divided small x divided by n y bar is nothing but summation y divided by n okay using all these formula i have to fit the regression line y on x and x on y to find out these things i have to prepare the table as i want summation of capital x square capital x is nothing but x minus x bar capital y is nothing but y minus y bar and summation x y that table i will prepare and i will come back here okay here we have prepared a table according to what we required first we will find out x bar summation of x divided by n summation of all this x values is given by 300 and sum of all the y values is given by 250 using them i will calculate the x bar and y bar now my x bar value equal to mean okay before that number of observations number of observations small n is equal to 10 and mean in x 
that x bar is equal to summation x divided by n summation x just now calculated it is 300 divided by 10 that is equal to 30 similarly <laughs> mean in y y bar equal to summation y divided by n that is i calculated as 250 divided by n equal to 25 okay mean in x and mean in y i calculated using them i will prepare the table that is okay capital x is equal to i have to calculate x minus x bar x minus 30 i have to calculate okay x is 36 okay 36 minus 30 will become plus 6 23 minus 30 minus 7 minus 3 27 minus then minus 2 minus 2 29 minus 30 minus 1 30 minus 30 0 31 minus 30 plus 1 33 minus 30 plus 2 3 and 35 minus 30 is 5 okay next y minus y bar what to do y bar value is 25 y minus 25 what to do 29 minus 25 will become plus 4 18 minus 25 will become minus 7 20 minus 25 will become minus 5 22 minus 25 is minus 3 27 minus 25 is plus 2 21 minus 25 is minus 4 29 minus 25 is 5 okay sorry it is 4 next 27 minus 25 is plus 2 again plus 4 plus 3 okay i don't want the summation of capital x and capital y x square i want okay that is a 3 6 square 36 49 9 4 4 1 0 1 9 and 25 like that summation of x square okay summation of x square will become sorry y square now that is 16 49 25 minus 3 2 sorry 2 will become 4 and this will become plus 9 this is 4 next minus plus 16 16 4 16 and 9 and x into y x into y that will become 24 correct 6 into 4 24 plus 49 plus 15 plus 6 minus 4 plus 4 0 2 12 and 15 okay like this we have to add up them okay now sum of all x square and xy using calculator you can find out them and i am getting them as summation of capital x as 138 summation of capital y square i am getting it as 164 and summation of x into y i am getting it as 123 using them remaining terms i will calculate one by one here now now summation of x square equal to 138 summation of y square capital y square equal to 164 summation of capital xy equal to 123 i am getting using them r i will calculate first okay therefore correlation coefficient r is equal to summation xy divided by square root of summation x square into summation y square that is 
वन ट्वेंटी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन थर्टी एट इंटू वन सिक्सटी फोर इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट आई एम गोइंग टू डिड एज जीरो पॉइंट एट वन सेवन सिक्स इज माय आर वैल्यू कोरिलेशन कोफिशेंट आर देन यूजिंग रैम I want to find out next standard uh, uh, variance or standard deviations that is sigma x square is given by summation of capital X square divided by n that is one thirty eight divided by ten that is equal to thirteen point eight therefore sigma x is equal to square root of thirteen point eight that is Three point seven one four eight. Using calculator, all these things you can calculate. Like that, sigma y square. I am getting it as summation capital Y square divided by n. That is one sixty four divided by n. That is ten. Sixteen point four. Therefore, sigma y equal to square root of sixteen point four. That comes out to be four point zero four nine seven. This is the sigma x, sigma y, as well as the sigma x square variance. Using them, the regression coefficients, regression coefficients, regression coefficients, <coughs> b y x equal to r into sigma y divided by sigma x. R value is zero point. Eight one seven six into sigma y, four point zero four nine seven divided by sigma x, three point seven one four eight. This value I am going to get it as zero point eight nine one three is my b y x. Similarly, b x y I have to calculate b x y. Is given by r into sigma x divided by sigma y. R value is zero point eight one seven six. Three point seven one four eight is a sigma x. Sigma y value is a four point zero four nine seven. Then calculate this using calculator. I am going to get it as zero point seven four nine nine. And this is my b x y. Using these regression coefficients. I have to form the regression lines now. Okay, therefore, regression line, regression line, y on x first. Regression line y on x. There is y minus y bar equal to b y x into x minus x bar. That is. Y minus y bar. Y bar value is twenty five. B y x is zero point eight nine one three. X minus x bar. X bar value is thirty. Simplify this. Therefore, it implies y equal to. I can write it as zero point eight nine one three times x minus thirty into point eight nine one three. Plus twenty five. Okay, if you simplify this, what I am going to get it is y equal to point zero eight, sorry point eight nine one three times x plus sorry minus one point seven three nine. This is the regression line y on x. Like that, regression line x on y now. Okay, regression line x on y. X minus x bar equal to b x y into y minus y bar. X minus thirty equal to b x y is. Point seven four nine nine into y minus y bar. Y bar value is twenty five. That implies 
x equal to I can write it as 0 0.7499 y minus 25 into 0 0.7499 plus 30 that implies I can write it as x equal to 0 0.7499 times y and if you simplify this I am going to get it as plus 11.25 okay this is the regression line x on y and when y equal to 16 now when age of wife y equal to 16 okay age of husband age of husband x is given y x is equal to 0 0.7499 times y y is 16 plus 11.25 it will give you if you simplify that I am going to get it as 23.24 but age is approximately 23 I can calculate okay this is how to calculate the simplification like this some more examples I am going to do in my next videos if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of my next videos like this comment and also share this video thank you friends